another relatively good week a trip to scotland and obviously a few shipper issues hello everyone and welcome back to the channel um please obviously if you like my videos please like and subscribe and do all that funky stuff that i know you want to do so we're in the van it is uh, sunday morning and just a little bit of a roundup on the week um start off with monday monday um we did a job for freddie fletcher and we had a drop off early morning so early start managed to get a job back to blackburn so a good day all round on monday and then if you watch my videos regularly tuesday i ended up not working and the reason i didn't end up working is because i had a bit of an issue with shipper that video has already been posted so it's the last one that i put on which actually went out on tuesday so check that out for that um basically i i cocked up i i'd got a job i'd um accepted it and everything and I recorded um, a WhatsApp message to some of the other YouTubers who I talked to and um, I had not switched it over so I actually accidentally messaged him, the shipper, um, and he wasn't very happy. But go and check out that video to find out exactly what happened with that and also how it, how it made me feel because it, I did take a bit of a hit on Tuesday, I've got to say. Um, but what I do want to say is a massive, massive thank you to everyone. First of all, the YouTube community who have been really supportive and uh, understanding. And secondly, to all you guys that watch the videos, because when I was looking through the comments on the video, um, every single one of you that's commented has, has been really supportive with it. Um, and that's really humbling. You know, we're, we're virtually, I think we're just like two off now, 500 subscribers. So, you know, the fact that you guys watch the videos and um, you obviously listen to the videos, which is probably more important. But I've said, you know, listen, Andy, don't worry about it. Pick yourself up and, and move on. Um, is is very humbling. So thank you guys very much. It's much appreciated. Um, and I'm over it now. And... The reason I'm over it is because um, there's some evidence come out about that particular shipper and how they potentially are, which I'll share for you. I'll share in a bit. But anyway, move on to Wednesday. So Wednesday, we had a bit of a trip to Scotland and uh, I filmed it and it's, this is what happened. Good morning. It is um, Thursday and we've been on our adventures this week it's been um, an interesting week but i've ended up in fort william and i've got to say it's absolutely gorgeous and we weren't intending to end up in Scotland but um, basically needs must sometimes and you just find yourself in these situations <laughs> well it weren't a situation it's uh, earning money at the end of the day but um, yeah we ended up staying over at the the hotel Caledonian Hotel um, which is very reasonable I've got to say my wife booked it for me it's 56 pounds for the night through booking.com and um, yeah, it's most comfortable. It was um, very much like um, a travel lodge. Very, very much the same setting, really. Very similar rooms, same layout. But um, but yeah, it was uh, it was okay. So the reason why we're here. So yesterday I got a job from Rochdale, which is uh, where I live literally five minutes away from my house from a place that i picked up from before and it was going over to well up to bathgate and we did the drop and 
every time you come up to Scotland, you always kind of know that the chances of getting a job back are few and far between. And we bidded on a few jobs um, that would have took me home or of course to home, but unfortunately, I didn't get them. So, um, ended up, in, well, two of them were actually cancelled. So I ended up in a situation where what do I do? Do I stay over and try and pick something up in the morning? And I was talking to um, my good friend Neil at uh, Neptune, and he was saying, he said, basically, and I agree with him, by the way, it's, um, it can go both ways. You can spend money on a hotel and still not get something back the next day. So then you've got dead miles on the way home and also the hotel stay, which I agree with him on. So I started to head back towards Glasgow because um, I, th I, I thought I've got more chance of picking something up from there. There are a few jobs that came up from there and I thought if I'm closer to them, I might have a better chance of winning them. And the traffic were a bit bad because of an accident with some lorries. But um, the, the job that came up from Stirling, coming up to Fort William, and then back to Stirling. Now, coming a more north in Scotland wouldn't have been a good idea if I was going to have dead miles back. But because it was a, um, a drop and bring something back, I knew that I'd be coming back to to close to Glasgow where I could get work. So I got stuck in traffic, we put a bid on the job and we went in strong with it because obviously I weren't that bothered if I did it or not. And um, because the time had elapsed that I would have been able to make it on time to pick up, I canceled the, the quote. Anyway, two minutes later, I get a phone call. He's still available. I explained to him I was going to be a bit later, and they went, "Yeah, fine with that. They're, they're quite happy to wait for you." So um, we did the job. So we picked up yesterday in Stirling, two hours drive up to Fort William. Glorious run, although it was pitch black. So I'm sure I'll see you a, a bit more on the way home. And um, we're dropping to the quarry, quarry today and picking up and going back to Stirling, and then hopefully get something back from Glasgow towards home or at least down south glorious up here wish me luck so as you can see a mini adventure um I have stopped out before I've stopped out probably about four times since I've been doing it I do try not to stop out if I can help it um, I do like to get back and like I said the the weighing up bit is do you stay over and spend money on a hotel and then the other expenses like something to eat and all that kind of stuff um or do you come back empty and i think it depends on where you are now scotland um is a lovely place and i do quite like going up there and i've got to say the 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 run back um from fort william was absolutely breathtaking as I went there, I went in the evening, so I just didn't see it, but the, the drive was amazing. Up over the Highlands, uh, Fort William is just near Ben Nevis. And um, yeah, it was outstanding. So for the experience especially, it was definitely worth it. And the thing is, you're getting paid for it, aren't you? But that job came up and it was a no-brainer for me to get the money in. Um, and plus the day was getting on a bit, so I would have got home late. So at least by doing that, I mean, I didn't get to the hotel until about 20 past eight. But, you know, what else are you going to do in your in your, your room? You're literally going to go there, watch a bit of TV and then go to sleep and get up in the morning. Um, so, yeah, it was it was a nice run and it was it was the right thing to do. So that was that day. And then from um, from Scotland, we got a job back and this was the Thursday now. So the Thursday was obviously the day the, the bad weather was starting to hit. And most of it, I think, hit in the in the evening. Um, Scotland was glorious. They didn't virtually have anything up there at all. So we travelled back. We managed to get a job from uh, Stirling, from where I was, um, going back to, going to Winsford. So, and it was a drop for the next morning. So that paid me good money. Uh, I was, um, I say good money. 
it was it was better than I, I would expect coming back from Scotland. Um, not your price per mile, but again, it gets you home and it keeps you moving, keeps you on the, on the on the go. So we got decent money for that, but that would drop in Friday. And obviously the weather kicked in, I got home and the weather started to kick in and it was blustering, it was breezy and it was, oh, you're thinking to yourself, I hope I can get there okay. And actually I got there fine. I got up early that morning, I took my wife to work, cleaned off and dusted off the van off the snow and um, the, the roads were actually fine. I mean, obviously, I'm quite lucky. I'm I'm pretty flat onto the main road from where I am. I've no hills or anything, and uh, I managed to quite quite easily get my wife to work. And then once I got on the motorway, luckily I wasn't eastbound on the M62. If any of you expen experience that, then I feel for you because I believe there were people stuck for six hours, um, and that was horrendous. But I was going the other way, so. Traffic was a breeze. I've never got around the M60 at that time in the morning so quickly um, because obviously schools were in, some people weren't going into work, some people wouldn't be able to make it to work. And then the other thing is there was no traffic coming eastbound, sorry, westbound from Leeds area because obviously people couldn't get over the hill. So we went and did the drop and that put me, for a four day a week, that gave me my target and some. Um, I was actually only £45 off a full week's target, but I did only work four days because I had the Tuesday off. So ultimately, I'm pleased with a week. I'm happy with a week. Um, I've had some payments in as well, which I weren't expecting this week. So that was about £500. So that was a little bit of a Brucey bonus. Um, everything's paid. And yeah, things are now looking up. It's, it's all good thing is for me and this is the learning and i did mention it last week last week when i look back at how i made my money and when i made it i, I made it in a couple of ways or, or the bulk of it in a couple of way, ways the first one was um i had a job booked in on the monday morning so i was already loaded i was ready to go it got me out and it got me there early unloaded early and then all i needed was a job back I waited around for a while, but I did get a job back um, up to Blackburn um, at a decent rate. And a shout out to that shipper, actually, because I actually put a bid on and um, I would forgot to put something on the notes. So I left it on for 10 minutes and then I rebidded and I actually put £10 less on it, thinking, you know what, I just want to get towards home now. And the shipper rung me and I put notes on as well. The shipper rung me and said, oh, have you already bidded? Uh, I said, yeah, I said, listen, I'm, 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 I'm down south. I need to get back to the northwest. Uh, I'd forgot to put notes on, so I cancelled my quote, rebid it, and, and went a little bit cheaper. So the guy gave me the job, and not only did me, he give me the job, he actually gave me the extra £10 for what I'd originally bidded. So um, so I'm really grateful for that. And I, it, listen, it's £10, but it makes a massive difference when you think of the, the cost that we have. So, yeah, top bloke, he, he did me proud. Um, so, that was based, that day was based upon the fact that I had a job already booked in. The, the Tuesday were a wipeout, a pain in the arse, and then Wednesday, the job up to Scotland, was very, very close to where I was. So, although I set off quite late, and it was a long journey, I thought I need to get some money in here. That's what I did it. And I got lucky in regards to I took a job. Yes, it was a stay over, but it was a bit of an adventure. It was a time when I could stay over and I didn't have to get back. So it all worked out nicely. And then the job home just just made it right, didn't it? So I'm learning, still learning. I'm still learning that to get jobs booked in is massive. If you can get out early doors, um, then it makes a massive difference, especially if you can get a chunk of money in. Now, tomorrow, which is Monday the 13th, I think, um, I've had a phone call this morning, I've got a job booked in. Um, so it's a little bid that I put in yesterday, and that's just a minimum charge job, um, but it pays decent per mile. And it's just going from Huddersfield over to 
over towards York. Can't think. Weatherby? Weatherby? Weatherby. So we've got that booked in tomorrow. That'll get us rolling again for next week. And hopefully again, the week will be decent. So all in all, decent, decent week. Just want to go back to the shipper. So the shipper and the issue that I had, and please check out the video if you've not already. Um, the issue that I had on Tuesday was of my own doing. And the one thing about it, when I look back, is yes, I made a mistake. And speaking to some of the guys and that, you know, they said, listen, at the end of the day, yes, you've made a mistake, but really, what have you done wrong? The shipper was annoyed and frustrated and pissed off, basically, because he knew I was sharing information about a job to other drivers. And he went on about dog eat dog world and everyone's out for themselves and all that kind of thing. And in many ways, what we do, that is true. You know, we're on a bidding platform. We're trying to outbid each other. I get that. I didn't share any information around the shipper. Um, and at the end of the day, I was talking, you know, would it be any different if I were talking to my wife or friends which aren't in the industry? Um, and again, by talking to the guys, that's one thing that's come clear, that actually, it's not. He was on about blocking me. He's not blocked me because I, I still see some of his jobs come up. And he also talked about reporting me, which he said he won't do now. Um, but I don't actually think he's got grounds to report me because I've not broke any rules. So, listen, a bit of learning for me. Um, I was a bit frustrated and that's just personal because, you know, you feel like you're letting people down. And I don't like the idea of someone out there thinking that I don't do a good job because I consider myself to do a good job. Um, but then this shipper has posted other jobs, um, which one of the other guys spotted and in his comments, the stuff that he's writing in there is dead, um, not aggressive, but <laughs> it just comes across as a bit rude and a little bit arrogant. So he's talking about this is the price for the job um, there's no other price for the job if you bid on the job and you bid a different price you won't get the job and you'll be blocked and then he talks about his ever-growing blocked list so, well why are you running a business like that i don't understand why he has to be and i'm presuming he's a one-man band shipper or a small shipper but he's even posting out on jobs stuff he, he's you know, recent one that he put he had on yesterday, I think he's talked about. If you share information uh, with other people on any kind of social media, I will report you to the CX. Wow. I mean, really, really, really odd. Strange. You know, and maybe I looked at it and thought, he must have had a bad day on Tuesday, and it? I just got full full brunt of it but i don't think it is that i think this is how the shipper particularly is so i know we talk from a, a driver point of view but from a shipper point of view it can't be good if you're blocking loads of drivers he's going to end up with nobody working for him i certainly be keeping an eye out for him now and um i don't think he'd give me a job anyway now but it just makes you think why why do people have to be like that you know on the other flip side of it, I've got a, a shipper that comes and gives me regular work, which is amazing with me. You know, he talks to me, we have a bit of a, a giggle, he pays me decently, uh, he, he pays me he pays me well, he pays me on time, he's, he's paid me on the same day before now, um, he pays me early. It's a relationship that we've built up and he says to me, he said, at the end of the day, and uh, you do a good job for me. Well, as far as I'm concerned, this other shipper, he's lost a good driver and he's going to lose a lot of good drivers. And I'm sure it comes from the fact that he's had bad experiences before. But you know what? All he needed to do is ring me and speak to me and he would have found out that everything was fine and he didn't have anything to worry about. But hey-ho, we move on. So that's my week from shippers which have been... Um, a little bit of a pain in my backside. Well, one shipper. 
from a start in Scotland with beautiful scenery and a beautiful run. And, you know, they're the kind of jobs that make you appreciate what we do and how we do it. Um, to be able to get out and see the countryside like that and the beauty of the country, even though it's Scotland and not actually England. Um, you know what? It, it makes you feel good to be alive and uh, doing what we do. Um, it's been a good week. I can't complain. I can't mourn. And um, we move on. And that's it for the week. Just one more thing to mention. Big Beardy is back. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So many of you know, I know you guys will have seen Big Beardy's videos before. He's one of the main guys that, he's probably the guy that I watched more than anyone before I came into this industry. And um, he's back. He's wanted to do something different. He feels like us other YouTubers are covering in the, the gaps of the stuff that, you know, a bit mundane, mundane, mundane. You know what I mean? We're, we're doing that stuff. He wants to do a little bit more um, advanced stuff, let's say. So he's wanted to cover subjects which maybe has not been covered before or what th what people we're seeing in the industry. So get onto his channel and, and check it out. And if you've got any questions or any things, because a lot of us YouTubers are relatively new to it, to be fair. Um, we just like to share our experiences and our advice. Um, but he's like one of the gurus with Pete the Courier, obviously. Um, but yeah, go and check him out and uh, let's keep Big Beardy with us because uh, everyone needs a bearded lad in their life. I don't know where that came from. Anyway, um, just one more thing before I do go, actually. Apologise. Um, haters. So there's been a few discussions recently between um, a few of us YouTubers. I've not really experienced it. I've had a couple of little bits here from now and again. Um, haters on YouTube or people making YouTube videos about career life saying that we um, make it look sparkling and nice and attractive. And we're the ones that's actually causing the issues because we're getting more drivers on. I'm sorry, but you guys, you're, you're out of order and you're wrong. If you look through the videos that we put out, and yes, we talk about we've had a good week or whatever. That's us. That's our experiences. We're just trying to give tips of help everyone make money because there's enough work out there for us all. There is. If it's a question of your shippers that you know, if it's a question of um, getting jobs from other sites or whatever, if it's if it's any kind of work com you know, regarding couriers, then we try and share our experiences. And it's a documentation of what we do. You know, I'll be able to look back in this in a few years when I'm old and greyer and be able to look at what I did and how I did it. You know, we do it because we enjoy do it and we want to try and help where we can. Um, and it just keeps everyone motivated. There's videos out there that we've, I think we've all put out at some point to say, listen, the CX at the moment, don't join it because it's not worth it. And that's how it is at the moment. It's not worth joining at the moment. If you're new to it, the expense and the work that's available at the moment, it's not worth doing it. It isn't. But all of us just want to share our experiences, talk about different things, help each other out because it's a one man band. You're on your own all the day and we're just nice people just trying to help so any haters out there we're not interested just go and be negative elsewhere um stop being selfish there's enough work for everyone and we can make a living doing what we need to do but if you look at back at all our videos every single one of us has put out videos at some point being truthful with how things are We've talked about bad weeks. We've talked about bad times on the CX. Um, struggles, breakdowns, everything that comes with it. Costs. We can't put any more out there. We don't want people to kiss our ass. We just want people to just enjoy what we do. Anyway, that's me. I've said my piece on that now. And I'm not an aggressive person. I'm quite a chilled out kind of guy. But come on guys just please look at it for what it is 
it's just us having a bit of fun anyway i've definitely said enough now i'll leave you all with it have a good week this weekend um hope where you are the snow has gone it's virtually melted around here we move on next week we crack on see you all later